Today is Wednesday, October 16th, 2019. I'm Paige Lee. NASA has new spacesuits to go to the moon. We've got details. And I'm Nicole Thorne. Have we already found life on Mars? Data and scientists from the 70s say yes. The news is next. The Darkness Haunted House will be held in the Green Room under the NHS Stadium on October 28th, 29th, and 30th from 7 to 10 p.m. each evening. $5 unlimited entry and $2 per Fast Pass. No costumes, please. In addition, there will be a pumpkin sales from Project Graduation outside the stadium. Coca and baked goods sales, face painting, and a food truck, so don't miss the fall fun. There will be no school this Friday, October 18th due to a teacher work day or the following Friday, 25th due to a staff comp day for conferences on Wednesday and Thursday nights, October 23rd and 24th. The ASVAB will take place on tomorrow. Any juniors or seniors interested in joining the military or wanting to take the ASVAB, please sign up with Mrs. S in the room at 652. This Saturday, October 19th, Project Graduation is hosting a scary Halloween movie night in the Little Theater from 7 to 10 p.m. The cost is $3, which will include popcorn, drinks, and candy. The movie, Lights Out, will be rated PG-13. Sorry, but this is for students in grades 9 through 12 only. And there will be adult supervision. Today's activities, Boys District Soccer at CUNA High, Girls District Soccer at Middleton, and Volleyball at CUNA High. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover their unique mix of all kinds of traits. Where'd Wiley go? Where's Wiley? Ah, there she is. Pa? Do you remember being an ancient wolf? Do you ever feel the call of the wild? You're a renegade cop, and I'm a con woman with nothing to prove. But together, we could really solve this murder. They're a little bit of a lot of things. But all of them are pure love. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Sit back, grab the remote, and get your teeth cleaned. Today we have a high of 76 and a low of 51, and tomorrow we'll have a high of 57 and a low of 42. Back to you. A human hasn't landed on the moon since 1972, but NASA's Artemis program aims to land the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface by 2024. NASA reveals two new spacesuits for the Artemis astronauts on Tuesday with live demonstrations. The suit for the planned landing at the Lunar South Pole is called the Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or EXIMU, because the red, white, and blue suit itself is a bit like a spaceship in the way it protects the astronauts, NASA said. A second orange suit called the or Orion Crew Survival System will be worn during launch, launch and re-entry in the Orion spacecraft and provide thermal protection for the astronauts. Have we already found life on Mars? NASA scientist Gilbert Levin worked on the historic Viking mission to Mars in 1976, which saw NASA land a spacecraft on the surface of the Red Planet for the first time. Levin published an opinion piece in Scientific American last week uh, titled, I'm convinced we found evidence of life on Mars in the 1970s. The scientist's claims are not new, and NASA says that data had been skewed by a non bio bibliological property of Martian soil, resulting in a false positive. NASA has yet to explain what the non-biological property is. The SAT word of the day is scrupulous, which means careful of small details or honest. You could use it like this. Mr. McGrath was scrupulous in his inspection of the school's computers. One last note, Earth Club will be meeting at lunch tomorrow in Mrs. Schroer's room at 2.12. That's the news. Thanks for watching, and remember, live, live the, the Bulldog, bulldog way. way.